I've been a data engineer in Ferrari Challenge, Lamborghini Super Trofeo, IMSA's Prototype Challenge with the LMP3 cars, uh, and in WeatherTech GTD class for a number of 24-hour and 12-hour entries, a couple of them here at Sebring for the 12-hour. For every sports car team that I had worked on, if they didn't have a V-Box in the car, I made sure that we started by getting one or I really wasn't too interested in being involved. So today we have two BMW M235 street cars with a handful of uh, modifications to make them a bit, a bit more tame on the racetrack. Um, but we've also have two video VBOX HD2s installed in each of them, each equipped with two cameras, uh, GPS, microphone, everything ready to go. Garrett and I have been working on our exit out of turn one today. Uh, turn one here at Sebring, for anyone who's driven it, real or virtual, it's kind of a terrifying corner. You go under that bridge, you turn in, you don't see an apex, all you see is a wall and a chain link fence. Um, so it can be kind of nerve wracking to come up to with a fair bit of speed. Um, what we did today is we looked at the track trajectory from my lap versus Garrett's lap. And we're over to directly overlay and see the actual path that the car took on the track. And it's very clear to see a whole car width of difference. Um, where traditionally you want to track out all the way, almost come up to the exit curbs. Uh, Garrett, just getting up to speed here, his first day at the track. He's a bit nervous and he doesn't want to track out all the way. It's really bumpery, pretty violent, and you want to stay the inside. Um, but when we looked at the, the trajectory overlay, it's very clear to see where the line difference is and where we want to go to. Of course, we want the largest radius put around the corner so we can roll as much speed as possible. And that made it so clear to see that. Uh, the other great thing, another great way of, ex of displaying the same thing in a different format is if we look at the video side by side, we can step through the corner one frame at a time and see the trajectory differences side by side to see the car placement, the car heading, how that varies and everything. So it's, it could not be easier to compare frame by frame what the difference is and what we're trying to get go for. You can see all the data, telemetry I need, and it's helped me figure out where I had to turn in, where I'm going early, where the hell I'm late, where to get the more power, and it's basically just to help improve my lap times and make the process of improving significantly easier to the point where I'm, I'm every session I'm just getting better and faster and faster and shaving seconds off at a time. It's been an absolutely fantastic tool to use so far.